Hi there, I'm Professor Rezetkin and I'm glad to welcome you to my channel. In today's video I want to share with you how to install a doorbell by yourself. To install a doorbell by yourself we will need, besides the standard set that includes a doorbell itself, wall plugs with screws for attaching the doorbell to the wall, low voltage transformer, two push buttons and screws for them. We will need a wire specially gauged for a doorbell or other low voltage applications, a standard set of screwdrivers, Robertson, Phillips and Slot, pliers, needle nose pliers, side cutters, a level, a set of drill bits, a drill, wire strippers, an electrical tape a measuring tape will be very useful a set of proper diameter wire straps with nails or screws to support the wires, a set of glowing rods to direct wires inside the wall, and a portable light if you are going to perform the job in places with insufficient light, like in my basement or in the attic. As you can see, a doorbell was never installed in the house. We will be installing a doorbell somewhere at this spot to make it nice and convenient. First, let's take a close look at the doorbell. Here in the corner you can see two arrows pointing aloud up positions. Thus, the doorbell must be installed either like that with this side up or like that. Any other position will prevent the bell to function properly. There are other holes on the sides that will be used to attach the bell to the wall. And there is hole here, we will bring the wires through it. Our task now is to locate the doorbell on the wall and to cut a hole in the wall for the wires. Let's measure the distance from the wall to the switch faceplate. It is 74 centimeters. We will locate the bell on the same vertical line.
here is 74 centimeters. I think it will be looking good here. I mark locations for the holes. And now we are going to drill the holes. Now we are carefully inserting wall plugs. And hammer them in with the help of pliers. I have measured the distance between the kitchen wall and the hole in the wall that I made for the wire. In the basement it is approximately here. According to my measurements, the location is around this hole where you can see another cable. Now I shall try to insert the glowing rod into this hole and see if I can find it upstairs. It is not very easy, because there is an insulation inside the wall and it creates definite barrier. However, it looks like it is moving somewhere, and it looks like it is moving vertically. I hear that my rod hit the ceiling of the first floor. But did I get by the hole? It looks like, after several attempts, I finally can find the fish tape. Excellent! Our next step will be pulling wires. Now I am attaching the wire. And we'll pull it down to the basement. Pulling the wire out. Actually, a side job should not be done by one person, so I had to invite a helper. And as you can see, I had to drill another hole. Okay, here is the wire. Now we will take enough length of it, so it would reach over there to the panel.
I think this is enough. Now I have to bring it to the attic.